Welcome to Explore the Way. In today's video, I am going to explain CMOS behavior with resistive load. So, first of all, what is resistive load? Generally, CMOS inputs offers very high resistance. So, it reads very less amount of current to drive them. But when the output of CMOS is connected to other inputs, it acts like resistive load on the CMOS output. This is the CMOS inverter and its equivalent circuit is like this. The resistance offered by NMOS transistor is Rn and the resistance offered by PMOS transistor is RP. This is the output. Suppose this output is connected to resistive load. This is the resistive load. This is the resistive load. Generally, without any load on the output, the CMOS behavior is like this. If the input is 0 volts, output is 5 volts. And if the input is 5 volts, output is 0 volts. Now we have to analyze how its behavior changes with this resistive load. Here the resistive load consists of two resistances. One is 1K resistance and the other one is 2K resistance. Now let us draw the Thevenin equivalent of this resistive load. The Thevenin equivalent of the resistive load consists of Thevenin resistance in series with a Thevenin voltage. Now let us calculate the Thevenin resistance. How can you calculate Thevenin resistance of the load? Now I will redraw the load. The load is like this. It has 1K resistance which is connected to VDD. And here we have 2K resistance, 2 kilo ohm resistance and this terminal is the output terminal. From this we can calculate R Thevenin by removing the voltage source. So when you remove the voltage source, the circuit looks like two resistors are in parallel. It looks like this. 1K resistance and 2K resistance. These two are in parallel. Now from this R Thevenin is equal to parallel combination of 1 kilo ohm and 2 kilo ohm resistances which is equal to 1 kilo ohm into 2 kilo ohm divided by 1 kilo ohm plus 2 kilo ohm equal to 2000 ohms by 3 which is equal to 667 ohms this is the R Thevenin and what is V Thevenin here V Thevenin is the open circuit voltage here V Thevenin is the voltage between these two terminals now the voltage across these two terminals is the voltage drop across this 2 kilo ohm resistance now the voltage across 2 kilo ohm resistance V Thevenin is equal to 2 kilo ohm by total resistance 1 kilo ohm plus 2 kilo ohm into VDD. Here VDD is equal to 5 volts. Now which is equal to 2 by 3 into 5 volts. 
which is equal to 3.33 volts. This is V thevenin and it is R thevenin. R thevenin, V thevenin. Now let us verify the behavior of this CMOS circuit with this resistive load. Suppose when V in equal to 0 volts or logic 0, then what happened? When the input equal to 0 volts, the PMOS transistor will turn on and it offers very low resistance of the order of 200 ohm and NMOS transistor will turn off and it offers very high resistance of the order of greater than 1 mega ohm. So this is the circuit when the input is 0 volts. Now the output voltage is the drop across these two terminals. V out equal to drop across R thevenin plus V thevenin. Redraw the circuit here. Now the drop across R thevenin is equal to R thevenin value is 667 ohm so which is equal to 667 by total resistance which is equal to 667 plus 200 ohm into into here it has two voltage sources one is 5 volts and the other one is 3.33 volts these two are in opposite direction so which is equal to 5 minus 3.33 volts plus V thevenin. V thevenin is 3.33 volts. Now which is equal to 4.61 volts which is treated as high state. This is the output voltage when the input is 0. And let us consider the second case when the input equal to VDD which is equal to 5 volts. When the input is 5 volts PMOS transistor will turn off and it offers very high resistance of the order of greater than 1 mega ohm and NMOS transistor will turn on and its on resistance is 100 ohm. Now let us draw the equivalent circuit. This resistance is greater than 1 mega ohm and this resistance is 100 ohm. And this is the output terminal. In this case, this pull up transistor offers very high resistance. So here there is no path to current pass through it. So the remaining circuit is like this. On resistance of NMOS transistor Rn equal to 100 ohm. And here we are having 667 ohm. And here we, ha we are having V 3.33 volts. So here the output voltage terminals are these two. Now the output voltage is the drop across 100 ohm resistance. So here simply V out is equal to drop across 100 ohm resistance. Now which is equal to 100 ohm divided by total resistance 100 plus 667 ohm into 3.33 volts which is equal to 0.43 volts which is treated as low state. So from this circuit 
here in this diagram in the ideal case output in the high state is 5 volts and output in the low state is 0 volts with the resistive load in the high state the output voltage will be 4.61 volt and in the low state its value is 0.43 volts these are not ideal values but which are close to supply rails this is the behavior of the cmos circuit with resistive load if you understand this topic please like share comment and subscribe for remaining topics like this thank you